Okay, so the things that we are going to discuss today, uh, the first question is how do current prices relate to prior years? The second big question is uh, do we see positive signs in regard to new listing and inventory? Keep in mind that the previous video showed that we have a decreased number of inventory. And third, are buyers still paying over asking? Okay. So we'll start with the Santa Clara County median sales price for single family homes. And median sale price is all time high. And we're comparing this uh, starting from 2019, 2020 and 2021. So we are at $1,486,000. So we haven't been this high since 2019. And it's also a 3% increase from January. And this is the data for February, okay? This graph has a longer story and gives us a bigger picture of what, to, what and how to explain our buyers and sellers about the market. So the ne next graph is Santa Clara County increased medium price. So here we're gonna see city by city. We definitely see the price change here. While usual Februarys are already high in Santa Clara, this February is even higher and stronger. We I see, like San Martin stats right there. Right, right, right. So we see all time high numbers here. So San Martin, 149% price change. Los Gatos had 33 sales compared to 17 sales last year. So, which comes to 45%, uh, right, above. San Jose, do we have San Jose here? Yes, 9% change. Morgan Hill, Morgan Hill was showing good sales in last two months. Why we always pay attention? Because Morgan Hill has always like, you know, sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's zero, but over last two months, Morgan Hill is showing good sales. Of course, these multiple offers are driving the market to be, you know, growing way. So the next slide is about Santa Clara County decreased medium prices for single family homes. We're going to always have the negative charts here. So Los Altos Hills showed um, negative 19%. Campbell showed negative 11%. But we also have to consider that, <laughs> sorry, that Campbell was showing highest price in January Okay, and then this month it's 11% uh, down. So it's just a slight adjustment that will always happen in the market. <clears throat> so if we come for common interest data, so this is the increased medium price, we'll see that Saratoga has increased 63%. Overall medium price for the county was around $850,000 for common interest homes. We are in a two year high right now. So we have a positive change for condos and townhomes. Uh, also, another thing to mention, you know, because we had the stats from, uh, from Duke today, that Cupertino and Santa Clara have condo complexes built in right now. So we're gonna see more of them uh, building. And to sum up, we have condos being built and condos being sold on a high level. Plus, I believe that people who struggle to get into single family homes that they desire, they can take another look at condos and townhomes right now. So this might be a good time for them. I know that 2018 was also crazy for condos. So this might be another 2018. So when we come to the new listing, so this is exactly what I wanted to compare with the previous data. So how many inventory do we have? Are we really in all time low right now? So if we compare right now, we are at 1,054 listings and we are growing two months, we're going two months up. So we were growing since uh, December and then we went higher in January and February. Uh, so we are definitely better than a year ago. So in 2020, January, okay, February, we were 939 and then in 2019 in February, 
we were 984 and we are 1054 right now. So um, we are showing better results, though I saw that Redfin also showed their data as decreasing inventory compared to 20 and 19. This is just something that we need to keep in mind because I know that my buyers came and send me a link to the data saying that, hey, you know, we wanna, you know, we're discouraged, there is no enough inventory, but actually the MLS data, which I trust much more than Redfin, um, is showing actually different results and we are expecting these numbers to go up. Um, so coming back to single family homes, increased new listings city by city, Los Altos Hills, increased 67%, Mountain View 40%, Campbell 26% increase, San Jose 18% increase, Palo Alto 30%, Gilroy 4%. So we're seeing an increase here, which is a very, very good sign. Also, as always, we're gonna have a decreased new listing. So um, the, the, the decreased numbers are for Monte Serena, San Martin, Los Altos, Cupertino, Morgan Hill, Milpita, Santa Clara, Sunnyvale, Saratoga. Um, so our next slide is about condos and townhomes. They also are showing an increase in new listings. We see in 65 increase, 65 percent increase in Sunnyvale, 48 percent of inventory increase in Santa Clara. Uh, San Jose is showing 16 percent increase. Milpitas is going very, very strong. And uh, why I am paying att attention to this is that uh, last year in February, Milpitas was showing 32 listings and it was all time high. And this year Milpitas is showing, um, yeah, so sorry. It's, uh, so last year it was showing 34 and it was all time high and this year is showing 32 which is almost you know next to all time high so milpitas is doing good um so sale to list price ratio and this is crazy 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 so what we're seeing for single family homes it's going wild we are at 106 percent uh, high, so 6% pay for premium. We haven't seen this since March last year. Um, so we see all time high in prices, right? Though it's not this, that this here. So sorry for interrupting you, yeah. but this, this here looks interesting. You know, it looks like last year everything was going up, up, up. And then in March, pandemic happened. So that shifted everything down. But right now, people are not as concentrated on it, right? So I'm really curious if this time around is just going to keep on going. Uh, it's going to keep on going up. We'll see. We'll see because the interesting thing to mention is that when we were in 2018, all time high, the prices were 111%. So let's see if we can beat that. And, it, and we haven't gotten to 111 since then, right? No. Okay. No. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Zara. Yeah. So um, increased sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question. So basically, when you are presenting this information to a client, and uh, you know, obviously we see extreme, extreme increase. Uh, obviously, the client will ask you a question. Do you see any signs of this market going down? Because obviously, it cannot go um, up continuously. So how would you handle that question? So. Um, I say, we're, you know, we keep growing. There is still a place to grow till 111%. I don't see any signs of why would the market go low because, you know, the sales are driven by demand and supply. Right now, we still have a very high demand and we have a very low supply. So why would you think that the market would go down? But I don't have a crystal ball. But do you think that at this point of time, the prices will go down. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So now we're coming back to the city levels. So this is actually where the data is coming from, right? So um, 
we are seeing, seeing that, oh my God, these numbers, it's crazy. Saratoga, 106%. So it's been 7% increase. New Piras is 7% increase and sale over list price ratio is 109%. So if we go to um, Cupertino, it's 110%, it's 6% increase from last year. Let's see San Jose, it's 2% increase. And right now we are at 108%. Sunnyvale, 111%. And it's 1% increase since last year. So also we can see a decreased sale to list price ratio for Monte Serena, 8%, Mountain View, 5%. Um, Santa Clara, 3%, Los Altos, 1%, San Martin, 1%. And another interesting thing to mention is that this is all across the valley. This is not local. This is not certain geographic areas. The situation is common for the whole valley, okay? Um, we're always going to have some negative numbers, but um, this is what it is. So we are on the last slide, and this is um we're coming back to a common interest properties so we're also seeing an increase for sunnyvale 105 percent increase in milpitas 102 percent change from last year for san jose so this year we are at a different start Februarys are usually good but this february is even better we are at high price high premium increasing inventory hopefully it's even gonna get better and then another thing that uh, we need to mention is that um, the interest rates are going up, right? So that's maybe uh, another thing to mention when we talk to our buyers, um, that the interest rates are going up. So that's gonna change your purchasing power. What do you think, Vladimir? I think that that can be a factor that that will uh, change things up a little bit. Uh, it's already taken in effect, and and some people uh, see that the the interest rates are going up, and they either get uh, discouraged by that or they get more aggressive because they think it's going to go up even further. Right. So it's going to keep on separating into two groups. Mm -hmm. But from where I see it, uh, I mean, it, the rates were so low there was just only one direction for them to go, and it, that's up. So as we have this hot market, I think the interest rate is going to keep on going up unless we have a stagnation. In that case, they may go down a little bit. 